Hello all. In this lecture, we, we, we are trying to learn about GCD of two numbers using recursive function. So as usual, again, recursive function is nothing but a function calling itself. Then we'll tell those functions as recursive function, right? So the GCD uh, using normal functions is a bit different from the recursive function, right? So what we are doing in this first, we'll just check out. Uh, and before this, we need to know a few conditions that how we are going to find out the uh, GCD. Right. So uh, especially with the uh, with the recursive method. Right. So what we are doing in uh, in this uh, particular program is first you will take two values. For example, uh, if I consider the values like three and five, I wanted to find out the GCD of three comma five. So for this first, you need to check out whether this n2 that is a comma b you are trying to find out right so gcd of a comma b so a value i had took as 3 and b value i had taken as 5 right so for the first condition you need to check out if b is equals to a that uh, sorry if b is equals to 0 that is if your second term is equals to 0 you will tell directly the gcd of given numbers is the first number that is if i take the value as 3 comma 0 right so gcd will be 3 but what is i'm uh, what the value i am taking is 3 and 5 so it is not equals to 0 which is not equals to 0 b is not equals to 0 so then what should i do i need to check out i need to check the condition that if a is less than b so what did i take my a value as 3 and b value as 5 yes condition is true then what i'm trying to do i'm just swapping the values right so now what will happen is my a value will become 5 and b value will become 3 so then what can I do? I'll check the condition if A is greater than, uh, sorry, less than B, right? Yes, of course, A is less than B. That is the reason we had checked out the, uh, sorry, we had swapped the value, right? Then next step, what should I do is I need to calculate the modulus of these values. So what will happen now? GCD of B comma, so what is my B value now? Here it is 3 comma and uh, modulus of a modulus of b that is what is my a value just in the previous step five five modulus of three is nothing but two right so now again what we had the values as gcd of b comma a modulus of b we got the value as three comma two so as i said recursive function these two values are again given back to the function that is your n1 and n2 will get the values again 3 comma 2 so again you'll check the values is b is equals to 0 no condition is false then what you'll come you will check the condition whether that if a is less than b or not if a is less than b then you will swap right so when you will swap what will happen you will get the value as 2 that is 2 comma 3 you will get and then what you are doing as a next step gcd of b comma a modulus of b so 2 comma 3 modulus of 2 you will do so that time what will happen you'll get 2 comma 1 right so again you will pass this function uh, these values to the gcd method so next what will happen your a value will be 2 and b value will be 1 is 1 equals to 0 no then what you'll do a is less than b you will check uh, a value is 2 and b value is 1 so then what you'll do you'll just swap the value so then what you'll get 1 comma 2 modulus of 1 then you will get the value as 0 and then finally what is that you got gcd of 1 comma 0 will be given for that particular function right so at that time what what you'll get the gcd as b is equals to 0 our final gcd will be 1 so gcd of 3 comma 5 is 1 this is what the general thing that uh, we are trying to calculate using this method so that was the logic actually so we'll go line by line here again so we are starting with our hash include stdio.h and then i created the gcd function where i'm passing two values that is nothing but two arguments for that n1 and n2 and i'm starting with main uh, int n1 and n2 declaration of two variables and i'm asking user to enter some two positive integer values right in this only i'm calling the gcd of n1 and n2 
So as usual, if I uh, send the values like 24 and 30, what we had seen in our previous lecture for calculating the GCD of numbers. So those values will be copied into int N1 and N2. So N1 is 24 and N2 is 30, I said. First condition, you will check whether N2 is equals to 0. So it is not equals to 0. Else if you are checking out whether N1 is greater than N2, oh, sorry, N1 is less than N2. So then what I'm doing, N1 is 24 and N2 is 30. Yes, condition is true. Then what you are doing, you are returning GCD of N2, comma 1. So what you are doing, you are swapping and you are sending the values over there. So now your N2 will be 30. So right, 30, uh, sorry. Yes, 30 and N1 is 24. These values you are passing here. So when you will pass here, now here N1 will become 30 and N2 will become 24, right? Again, you will check the condition. Oh, what is that? N2 is equal to 0? No. Else if N1 greater than N2. N, uh, sorry, N1 less than N2. What is my N1 value? Now I got here 30. What is my N2 value? I got 24. Is the condition true? No. So again, you will come to this else part. And here you will find out N2 comma N mod N1 modulus of N2. So now here what will happen? 30 modulus of 24 you will do. You will get some value. That one you will send it here. Again, you will check out the condition whether N2 is equals to 0 or N1 is less than 2 or uh, N1 modulus of N2. So if you are having the lesser values, you will swap, right? And then you will do the uh, modular division. So at that time, finally, you will get the uh, solution, right? So this is what is happening in our uh, GCD. So as usual, again, this method is going to or this function is going to return some value. So those values we will be printing directly over here. So that is GCD of percentile D and percentile D is N1, N2 and GCD of N1, comma N2, right? So we'll just uh, compile this code and we'll just check it out. No errors are there. Next, enter two positive integers. As usual, I'll give first 3 and 5. We'll check out. So, the GCD of 3 and 5 is 1. And for same 24 and 30, I think that previously we had solved. So, once again, we'll compile and run 24 and 30. So, the GCD is 6. So, this is how you are going to calculate GCD of a uh, given uh, two numbers using recursive function. Okay. So that is non-recursive function and this is the recursive function. So that's all for this video. Thank you all.